Slovenia is beautiful, but its capital Ljubljana is even more special. Why? Because it became the first zero-waste capital in Europe. So while I was chilling around in Slovenia with my friend Marco, I thought of making a video on how Ljubljana recycles its waste. And for my Indian audience, please watch this video till the end. I have a special message for you in Hindi. So let's start today's video. Sasrikal Ji, welcome to the Punjabi Wanderers YouTube channel. Today I am in Ljubljana which is the capital city of Slovenia and I have heard that Ljubljana has one of the best waste management systems in the whole world. So uh, now me and my friend Marco will go out and uh, we will show you the different aspects of waste management system in this city. Yeah, so first of all let's have a look how the Slovenian people in Ljubljana they dump their garbage. You see the plastic doesn't go in that bin, only the biodegradable waste goes there. And but then because it's dirty, you mm -hmm. have to put it in an order. Okay, not yeah. in the plastic one? No, because it's dirty one. Ah, okay. It should be uh, cleaner. Okay. Do they teach you all this stuff? Like, yeah. like yeah, 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 yeah. where? Like in school? In or? school. You in have school? like a special time for this uh, oh, like okay. even they teach, uh, teach them in the kindergarten mm -hmm. so like my nephews they were like uh -huh. when they were like really Small. two three four years yeah. they already know how to wow. do it oh. yeah so uh, you see this is for biodegradable waste this is for paper this is for others and this is for plastic and tetra packs and bottles and everything and uh, marco told me that uh, they come to pick up every waste on a different day yeah yeah. So, they, so like there are different pickup trucks for different yeah. kind of waste. Yeah. Impressive. And now we are going to the recycling center, which is uh, right in the city center, right? Uh, actually, it's a center for uh, uh, reuse things. You can leave your old stuff here. Yeah. And but you can also get uh, some uh, some secondhand stuff. Yeah. But you have to buy it. Yeah, but it's just like for little money. Very little money. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is like controlled by the municipality of Ljubljana and uh, you can leave your old stuff here, uh, which you don't want to use. So like there are two sections. One is like, uh, which is reusable, one one which is not reusable at yeah. all. Uh, and then they recycle it yeah. somehow. Yeah. Okay, so we'll have a look and uh, then maybe you'll get a better picture. Now this is something really interesting, uh, like you can refill your bottles with the detergents and you know stuff to clean your floor, clean your clothes, clean your utensils, everything. So like there are different categories and uh, you can refill these. So the motive behind it is that you don't buy a new packet, new plastic, new plastic container from the market and you just bring your own and just refill it here. So you can leave your old books, old clothes, old cutlery here and you can buy the second hand stuff as well but that comes at a small price which goes for the maintenance of this place. And then there is this other section which doesn't have any price tag so you can just take it home for free if you want. So that was the reusable part, now coming to the non-reusable things like old batteries, like used cooking oil, televisions, refrigerators, which are no longer reusable. So you have to come here and dump them in these separate containers. So you guys saw it that how organized everything is, like <clears throat> you have to put every different kind of waste in a different kind of container. Uh, I wish uh, uh, the governments in India can also do it, but then more than the government, uh, it's it's the people. It's the people. Like, will they take the pain of segregating the waste and putting it in different bins? So yeah, it's basically the people. But here in Slovenia, uh, this has been going on for how many uh, years? I would say more than 25, 30 years. More than uh, 25, 30 yeah. years. Yeah, I mean to start develop the idea and to start to educate people. Yeah, so I hope this happens everywhere in the world and in India as well. But it will take some time, we need to educate people, it, it needs to be in the school curriculum, 
and then you know it's the, it's the mentality of the people so i hope uh, people understand uh, the the thing that you know they are doing good to themselves only when they are doing it तो यार आप लोगों ने इस वीडियो में देखा कि कैसे यहाँ के लोग कितना ख्याल रखते हैं कि जो भी वेस्ट है वो सेग्रीगेट होता है ग्लास अलग जाता है प्लास्टिक अलग जाता है बायोडिग्रेडेबल वेस्ट अलग जाता है मेटल अलग जाता है तो आई नो इंडिया में इतना कुछ अभी नहीं हो रहा है रिसाइकलिंग नहीं हो रही है गवर्नमेंट इतना कुछ नहीं कर रही है वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट के लिए बट द लीस्ट वी कैन डू इज कि यार जो हम आजकल आग लगा रहे हैं ना कूड़े को मैं देखता हूँ लोगों को कि अपनी दुकान के बाहर कुछ भी कूड़ा है तो इकट्ठा करा आग लगा दी मैं इनफैक्ट देखता हूँ अपने शहर में कि जो सफाई कर्मचारी होते हैं वो सुबह झाड़ू लगाते हैं और कूड़े को आग लगा देते हैं ठीक है तो एटलीस्ट वी शुड नॉट डू दिस अगर आप ये वीडियो देख रहे हैं तो अगर आप समझ रहे हैं कि मैं क्या बात कर रहा हूँ और आप किसी को देखते हैं सुबह कूड़े को आग लगाते हो या इफ इफ यू आर डूइंग इट योर सो प्लीज स्टॉप डूइंग इट इफ यू सी सम वन एल्स डूइंग इट उसको जाके बात करिए उससे उसको बोलिए कि यार वाई यू डूइंग दिस मैं करता हूँ ये बहुत मैं बहुत लोगों से जाकर बात करता हूँ मैं गालियाँ भी खाता हूँ उनसे बट अगर दस में से कोई एक बंदा भी समझ जाता है तो आई कंसिडर माई सेल्फ सक्सेसफुल एंड आई एम मेकिंग दिस वीडियो यू नो बिकॉज आई वॉज रियली डिस्टर्ब यू नो मैं सुबह जाता हूँ मॉर्निंग वॉक करने या जॉब करने मैं देखता हूँ कि यार हर जगह पे आग लगी हुई है पत्ते इकट्ठे करें आग लगा दिए प्लास्टिक इकट्ठा करें आग लगा दी है दिस इज़ नॉट द सोल्यूशन ओके तो उसको आप डस्टबिन में डालिए दी सो द मैसेज आई वॉन्ट टू गिव फ्राम दिस वीडियो इज stop stop burning the garbage like that's the least we can do uh, in india and uh, share this video uh, if you if you don't want to share this video just uh, share this message spread this message uh, talk to other people and together maybe we can make india a better place to live thank you okay guys the next video is going to be from deutschland germany i'm going to be in munich to meet my college friend mujahid who has been living in germany for the last 7 years to hum janenge ki kaisi hai ek indian couple ki life germany mein kya kya problems aa rahi hain unhe yahan problems nahi aa rahi hain aur how is the student life uh, how to get a pr how to get a citizenship and how is life every detail so stay tuned subscribe to this channel press the bell icon follow me on instagram and i will see you in the next video goodbye